Good morning, Real Entrepreneur Women. Hi, it's Sophie Musumechi here, uh, CEO and founder of Real Entrepreneur Women. I thought I'd do something a little bit different for today's training and come from my lounge room. So um, I've got my puppy here next to me. You can see my cat's called up behind me. And uh, yeah, we've got a really big topic today. I'm just gonna check this lighting because it's a little bit bright. I hope that's okay. Um, we're talking all about how to scale your coaching business, your consulting business, your service provider business, because scale is a word that I hear a lot of online marketers talk about, you know, scaling up your business. And I was actually having a call with a lovely lady and she was telling me she wanted to scale. And it's quite interesting because she was at a point in her business where she was really making maybe not even $500 a month. And so I really wanted to share this important topic with you about scale and how do you move your business to scale? Um, it's something that I think that we all think that we want, but do we really know what it means? And now that I'm at that point and, and we are scaling, have been for a while now, I thought I'd wanted to come and share these really important um, topics with you and important information with you so that you can see, well, what does that mean and how can I apply it in my business? So as you're joining, make sure you say hello as well. Um, you can jump into the chat, you can give me a heart, you can give me a love, you can say hi. Um, it's really bright now that I've sat up here. Uh, like I said, I was just, I'm coming from my lounge room because I wanted to just mix things up out of the office. You know when you're always in the office and I wanted to get out. So how's everyone doing this morning? Are you all ready? I hope you've got pen and paper because this is really going to be in depth and you're going to have some really clear takeaways and create some clarity around what does scaling mean and how can you do it in your business. So um, I want you to think about like this. Hey, Lisa, nice to have you here, darling. So tell me as well, like tell me what type of business you've got. Hi, Mary. Uh, where are you? I'm in Sydney. Uh, in Australia, obviously. Um, but yeah, the more you can tell me and the more you can interact on these, then that means that I can give you a more tailored uh, session as well. And we can make sure that we get really, really clear around what we need to talk about today. So scaling. What is scaling? What does it even mean? Now, a few weeks ago, I did a very in-depth training about all the different stages of business, where we go from having an idea and then we go, we start creating what we call a hobby, which is where we are investing a lot of time, but we're not seeing really the financial return. Um, from there, we start making money, which is great, but we're still working all of the time and we're feeling exhausted and we have to give more and more and more if we wanna earn more. Um, and then we things switch around and we figure out how to scale. And scale is where you're actually working less, but you're able to earn more. So your income isn't related, like your income, isn't dependent on the number of hours that you clock in in your business, which is so good because you know when you're at this point, you have the time, flexibility, and freedom to be able to run your business how you like. So for me, I mean, when I was first starting my business, I was working every spare hour on the weekends, on the weekend, uh, on the weekends, late nights. I was pulling all nighters. Um, and I knew that we could make more, but I just had to keep putting more time in and I was exhausted. And I have two young kids, for those of you who don't know, if you're new, um, I have two young kids. They're actually at holiday camp today and yesterday. Um, and then I have some time off with them for the rest of the week. So it was really full on and I was consulting. And so when I made this switch and I realized how to shift the dynamics of my business and it was a full like flip around, um, once I realized how to do that, then it made scaling a lot easier. So that's what I'm gonna share with you today. I've got a few notes here. I just wanna make sure I stay on point because I wanna give you a killer session today. So um, think of it like this way. You know, when you build a house, you have to make sure the foundations are really strong before you can put the walls up, before you can put the windows in, before you can put the roof on, yeah? And what happens if you don't have really strong foundations? I think there's like a, a period of time that they just have to let the slab settle. Um, and then each piece has its own time that it needs to be set up and it needs to make sure it's strong and it gets tested along the way to make sure it is solid, right? So think of it like this. You can't put the walls up or you can't put the roof on if the, cell, the foundations of the house aren't solid. Does that make sense? Because if you do, it gets cracks and those cracks get bigger 
and then things start falling apart and it all just becomes a big lawsuit, right? So it's the same with your business. So when we think about scaling, I want you to think about getting the right foundations in place so that your business is working. You've got money coming in, you've got consistent clients, and then from there, when you go, okay, this is working, now we can scale, which means we can turn it up, we can move up, we can put the walls on, we can put the roof on, and we can do all of those cool things. But if we don't have the foundations in place, we see the cracks, which means we don't, we aren't able to deliver on our promise, we aren't able to forget, you know, we might get a couple of clients coming in, but we don't have that consistent generation of leads coming through which allows us to, oh, it makes us actually feel a bit shitty because we kind of invest a lot into one strategy and then that doesn't work. So we need to make sure we've got the foundations. So think of it, so the biz, what are business foundations? What are the core things? And the thing is, I hate that word, foundations, because it makes it sound simple or basic and it's not. I believe probably 95% of the women in my mastermind um, didn't have the foundations in place. And I didn't either a few years ago because it's something that we skip on. So let me look at it this way. Here, this is what the foundations are for your business. A juicy offer. I mean, an irresistible juicy offer, package, program, um, service that you provide that your dream clients absolutely are like a heck yes when they see it, when they speak with you, right? Do you have a juicy offer? Your whole business is surround, like it is based on what you offer. And is it aligned to solving the problems of your dream clients? Because they need to see that it is exactly what they have been looking for or dreaming about or praying for, right? So it all starts with having that juicy offer. So you have to have a juicy offer. The second thing is in order for you to scale is you must have a consistent way of getting new clients. So a consistent way means that you can invest in whether it's uh, paid marketing or organic. We teach both in the Wealthy Woman Mastermind. So if you're doing paid marketing, then you need to know the amount of money you're putting in and you're getting a consistent outcome from that. So you're, if you're putting in $100, you're, you're earning $500 out, for instance. You're putting in $1,000, you are earning $5,000 out. That's a consistent, um, consistent way of getting clients, as an example, right? So then you've got your consistent. So the third thing then is a sales process that converts. So how do you actually take someone from when they hear about you, they see you, maybe you speak to them, what is that process that you take someone through where they then become your client because you have built so much trust, they've gotten to know you and they like you, right? So a consistent sales process is critical in your business. So once you've got that, when we talk about numbers, when we talk about moving to scale, we talk about someone who has their business performing at a minimum $10,000 a month, right? That is where we go, okay, you now have proof of concept. And proof of concept means that you can, uh, you can get your, so you've got something that works, you're earning consistent income on that, and then you're able to scale it from there. So once we've got proof of concept and your business is earning $10,000 a month, we just start turning it up. So we look at what's working. So if you're doing paid marketing, great. We need to really hone in on what part of that is working and what we can turn up. When I say turn up, I mean increase the ad spend. And then you watch that to make sure that what comes out is also increasing. So if you start putting in $2,000, you're get, now getting $10,000 out. So it should be increasing by percentage. If you're doing organic marketing, then we need to start looking at what we're doing and how do we do more of that. So that's how we would increase, increase to scale. So think about it as in like scale is taking what's working and turning it up and you need to be able to leverage what you do. So there's a few things that I see that really get in the way here of scaling your business, right? The number one thing is fear, absolute fear. So why do we get caught up in fear in business? We're worried about maybe what other people think. Maybe we're worried about what um, our clients will say. Maybe we're worried if we're good enough. 
a lot of the women that I work with are scared of selling. Um, we have this old weird picture in our head of the sleazy car salesman, or we've all had an experience like that. I remember going to buy a car and the guy wouldn't even look at me. Like it was my car and he wouldn't even look at me. He kept trying to look at my husband. And I'm like, it's my car, but he kept wanting to talk to him. So we've all had shitty experiences when it comes to selling that for some reason has now got into our psyche and we're thinking, okay, well now that is what I need to do. So this whole fear around selling is something that I see really gets in the way. Another thing when it comes to scaling your business is there's only so many hours in a day. So if your business model is reliant on you doing one-to-one, -one, then you're always going to be limited by how much you can grow. So for instance, some of the women in my mastermind have been doing one-to-one. -one. So they, they serve their clients through um, you know, one hour a week coaching, for instance. So one, that's very time consuming for you, but also, um, you know, there's only like, how many hours a week do you want to work? I mean, for me, I wanted to reduce the hours that I wanted to work. So I now work about 20 hours a week and, and I have that flexibility to be there for the kids and to be able to have Thursday off for me and, you know, weekends are off. So if you have a business model that is reliant on you doing one-to-one, -one, then you are also going to be limited. So one of the things that we do in the mastermind, one of the very first things we do in the mastermind is look at your business model and look at how we can turn that around so that you can start earning but without having to always be present. And there's a way that we package up your offer. And I, I call it the, um, the irresistible juicy offer, but it's about providing a transformation for your clients. And I believe that there is so much that we can leverage from technology these days where we can create some level of online content, some, some coaching private group, and really make it an incredible experience where they get a full transformation which is really important. So um, a business model that's one-to-one -one is also gonna stop you there on how you might need to do it. Um, what else? Your message. Your message is one of the biggest and most important things that I see stop women from scaling. If your message is beige, boring, vanilla, uh, <laughs> people are gonna switch off. So if let's say if you are a life coach and um, you know there's lots of life coaches out there, it's about finding a unique message that allows you to separate who you are and how you solve problems from everyone else. Like I am just as unique as all of you and my message is very different from yours and that's awesome and it has to be. You need to be able to stop the scroll online and your message is critical. So if you don't have the right message in place, if you're not 100% like congruent with you know, what it is that you're saying. And when I say congruency, it's like, what I believe is what I think, it's what I say and it's what I do. It's just me. Like I'm just keeping it real in Sophie land. This is me, like it, love it, hate it. I don't care, but that's me. And because I'm fully congruent and, and really happy with who I am, that attracts a certain type of person. And that's the level that you need to get to in your business if you really want to scale. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, oh, one of the other big mistakes that I see a lot of business owners make is wanting their business to make money before they're willing to invest in learning a growth strategy, right? And this whole catch 22 which is just a, a BS, it's, it's not, it's a, that will keep you trapped. Businesses take investment, investment in time, investment in learning the skills and investment in money, where it comes from, S set up, getting the right um, support, structure, uh, all of that. My, business take an investment, but it's an investment. It's not a cost. It's not like just going and buying new shoes or going on a holiday or buying a new car. That's a cost. But uh, investment in your business is an investment. You're learning a new skill. You're learning how to grow. You're learning how to um, connect with your audience. You're learning how to market, set up sales strategy. All of this is going to, one, allow you to connect with your audience and help them, but two, allow you to make money. It's an investment. You put in, you do the work, you get out. So that mindset around your business has to earn money before you're willing to invest in a growth strategy 
is going to keep you stuck and you're not going to be able to scale from there. I've just realized as well, we've gone live on our Facebook page instead of in our Facebook group. So hi everyone. <laughs> uh, great to have you here. I'll have to redo this in our group after. So every week we do a free training in our Real Entrepreneur Women's group. Um, and this was one of those trainings, but clearly I've gone live in the wrong place because I can see a lot of my male friends. Hi guys. Um, all right. So I want you to think about where are you right now in business? So where are you financially right now? Are you at a thousand dollars a month? Are you at $10,000 a month? Are you not, don't you have any clients? A lot of the women I'm working with right now are coming out of professional careers. So leadership experts, um, HR consultants, who else are we working with? Um, teachers, uh, lots of different um, professions and then moving into becoming that expert. So creating their own consulting business or becoming a coach in that field or in other fields because they've got the skills and they're obviously transferable. So one of the, so they're coming out with nothing as in they don't have a consistent way of getting clients. They don't have money coming in. So they're starting from scratch. So where are you right now? I really want you to think about that in your business. And it's an honest conversation that you really need to have. There's no point pretending in business or just crossing your fingers and hoping and praying that things are going to work out. Like you've got to have a real honest conversation with yourself and have a look at where you're at. So that's the first thing. Where are you right now? And then I want you to think about where do you want to be in the next couple of months? So, and the reason I say next couple of months, we've got three months left in the year. 2020 has been a crazy year. So we've got three months left in the year. Where do you want to be financially in your business? And what is quite um, interesting is sometimes when I ask this in the calls that I have with women, um, it's really hard to articulate a financial goal. And I think that comes down to that fear, fear of being successful, fear of wanting too much. Like if I say, well, I want to earn $50,000 in the next two months in my business, am I being greedy? I think a lot of girls have grown up with, you know, got to kind of play a little bit small. And, and if you are really confident and you do say that, then, you know, you're a target for a bully or something like there's all these crazy psychic stuff that have happened to us in the past. So I just want you to be really focused around where do you want to get in the next two months? And the reason I say two months instead of three months is something incredible happened yesterday. So in my Wealthy Woman Mastermind support group, so that's where all of the women that I'm coaching right now um, are in, one of our students, Lindsay, did a Facebook Live I'm getting, I'm getting chills right now. Okay, so she did a Facebook Live in the group and she said that she has wanted to do this since she first started. And because what happens in the mastermind is the women, we practice a lot of Facebook Lives and, and a lot of them um, jump on and they share their wins that they've had, you know, first sale or hit $10,000 or whatever it is. And Lindsay has been busting to do this. And she's been working so hard and she is, she's a dream client. Like she takes, she, she does the learning she shows up to the classes, she uh, asks her questions, she gets her work reviewed, she, um, you know, if something's not working for her, she comes to me and allows me to coach her and then she goes and applies it. And she shared with us that yesterday she earned $7,000 for the week. And we were all just so happy for her because this is something that took her two months to get to. Um, and that's why I say two months because we all come in from different places as in some of us have established businesses but haven't really figured out how to get it to make money others have um are coming like i said directly out of a career and now they're moving into their own coaching or consulting business so everyone's starting at different platforms and for Lindsay, she had been doing coaching and she's like one of the most energetic i love her so um, Lindsay is working with uh, the younger, I say the younger generation because I'm nearly 40, but she's working with, you know, 20, 20 plus year olds and helping them to figure out what, what do they really want out of life? You know, because a lot of us, she is on fire, Megan, isn't she? And it's so awesome to see. Um, and we see, yeah, sorry. So yeah, Lindsay's working with these incredible people who want to be able to um, get real direction where they want to go because, you know, they've, they've grown up in an environment where their path has been mapped out for them, what school they went to, if they were going to be a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, and then they've kind of woken up and gone, hang on, 
I didn't really want this. This was decided for me from my family or from, you know, social or whatever it is. And so Lindsay works with them. And so we've been doing so much work with her. And I'm just so proud of her because she didn't give up. She committed to her business. She took the action. And when things didn't work straight away for her, rather than going, I'm shit, <laughs> I can't do this. I'm a failure. I'm just going to go back and get a job and get in the whole like fear mode and woe with me mode. She just leaned in. There's more that I need to know that I, I don't know yet. And, you know, we were all just so cheering for her. Thanks, Rebecca. It really is amazing. We're just all cheering from her, for her. Um, and the thing is that she's not alone. I, I'm just sharing this one story with you because it just happened yesterday. So, yeah, she really leaned in on it and she really deserves it. And so over those two months, she put the right systems in place. She learned the right skills that allowed her to communicate with her audience and take them through a, a loving sales process where it didn't feel all icky and yucky and she was able to feel really grounded and clear and confident in how she did that. Um, and now she's getting ready to scale, right? So, you know, behind the scenes, I'm sure she's been like, you know, that duck above water where up here you're all cool and calm and under the water you're like going crazy which is really exciting for her. And the thing is, remember, she was committed to changing her life. She was committed to changing her current circumstances and believing in herself, getting that right strategy, getting the right systems in, the pl in place and taking the action because you have to take the action, yeah? So I wanna, if you want different results in your life, in your business, then maybe it's time you start looking at doing things a different way. You know, so if you want to be like the next Lindsay and get your business ready for scale, in a minute, I'm going to tell you a word, right? And I'm going to get you to comment that word in underneath this video. And what's going to happen is uh, one of my assistants, either Mary or Mensch, is going to send you a private message. And I want you to think of them kind of like the, um, the company nurse. So they're going to ask you a couple of questions and just kind of do a little bit of a diagnostic and, and make sure that what we do is the right next step for you. And then if it is, they'll connect you with me and we'll jump on a call and we'll, I'll go through all the details with you and see what your custom plan is going to be, your custom coaching business plan to get your business ready for scale. Because everything changes at scale. I just want to be really clear. This is only for you if you are a coach, if you are a consultant, if you are an expert, if you're a service provider, this is specifically for you. Um, so if this is you, then I invite you to comment the words, scale me underneath this, in, underneath this video right now. And we're gonna reach out to you because scaling has absolutely changed my life. Learning how to scale is a skill and you know, my life looks so different now from what it used to. You know, I used to work 40 hours a week, plus travel, plus traveling all around the country. And I had a nanny looking after my son. Um, then when they were older, they were in before and after school care, you know, drop-offs at 7 a.m., pickups at 6 p.m. Um, and I was just missing out on everything. And so by learning how to use my skills in my own business, without being in this time and money kind of, you know, where you're, you're basically, what's it called? You're giving your time for money, right? And, and learning how to scale and flip that around. You know, now I get to serve incredible women. Like I've never been happier in my life for supporting these women. And, and learning how to scale other people's businesses has changed their lives, like Lindsay. And, you know, last week we did an interview with, with Lizzie, Lindsay, Lizzie, that's confusing. Um, we did an interview last week with, with Lizzie, who was one of the other students in the mastermind and, and how, what she's learned has completely changed her life. It's changed her marriage. She can now say, you know, when bills come in, she can now go, it's all right, I got it. And, you know, she can cover anything that comes through because she's learned how to grow her business. She's learned how to scale her business. Um, and it's changed her life. So, you know, if you're ready for this level of growth in your business, then I highly recommend you comment, scale me, and then we'll reach out to you as well. Now, 
This is probably the first Facebook Live I've done on my page in a very long time. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go and jump into my group now and do it in the group. Um, but sending you all so much love. Uh, thanks for being so generous and sticking with me on the call as well. I'd love to hear what you think. And I would love to work with you and look at a custom plan for your coaching business as well so that we can get you ready for scale. And scale is unlimited, right? So scale is $50,000 a month, $100,000 a month. When you have that right business model in place, it really is, there really is no limit on how big you can grow. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye.